Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're gonna be playing with the Astray Paste. This is a glitter texture paste from Simon Hurley Creates. And I was just blown away by a recent video that I saw of how sparkly it was when it was used. And I just thought I really need to try that. I really wanted to see if it was as sparkly as it appeared to be and how easy it was to use. I haven't used any of Simon Hurley's uh, texture pastes before, so I was really keen to give this a go. And being as all my old glitter paste had dried up, I definitely had a room in my stash to get some more. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be showing it you using these stencils from A Colourful Life Designs. So we're gonna be using uh, Flower Explosion, Mid-Century Atomic Teardrops, the Layered Tulip Trio, and the Changing Triangles stencils. And I'm gonna be showing it you on some black card, color card, and white card, just so that you can see how they look on different card stocks. So we're gonna start by using the Mid-Century Atomic Teardrops stencil on some black cardstock. I've got my waffle flower grip mat on my glass mat and for this card I'm going to use clear skies and tropical tango. So I'm just using a palette knife to apply it with and as you can see it's like a really it almost looks like a bit of a mousse in the pot. Um, it's a bit more of a fluffy texture I would say to perhaps um, the crafters workshop stencil brushes if you've used those before. It's definitely a lot lighter in appearance than it dries. So you can bear that in mind that although at the moment it looks a bit cloudy and a bit pale, it definitely does not stay like that. I'm gonna just blend the two colors together. So I've kind of got the um, Tropical Tango in the middle and then I'm using the Clear Skies at the top and the bottom. And I'm just using my palette knife just to kind of blend those two together. Once you've got a good coverage over your stencil, you can then go ahead and take your stencil off. Now, the grip mat does have quite a tight grip and I'm peeling it away from me. And by doing that, you avoid getting any kind of peaks in the stencil butter as you peel it away. If you pull it towards you, you do kind of risk smudging your design a little bit. It's a lot easier to pull it away from you. And then I'm just using my pokey tool to remove it from the grip mat. And you can see we've got a really lovely crisp coverage of that stencil. So we'll pop that aside to dry. I cleared up the mess with a bit of water and my microfiber cloth and then we're going to go ahead and now we'll use the flower explosion stencil. So this time I'm going to be using the crown me and the tropical tango together and I really want the center of the flower to be the more purple color and then I'm going to kind of blend it out with the tropical tango stencil and this um, really blended well on the teal colored cardstock that we're using so these colors worked really nicely with with the colored card and I think that's something when I first started crafting I didn't really take into consideration how colors went well together uh, but I feel like lately I'm getting a bit more of a grip of that and so yeah using these cooler tones together really worked really well on this card so again I've peeled it away from me used my pokey tool just to remove it and then we'll pop it aside to dry this is the changing triangle stencil. And now I tried something a little bit different here because we're using white cardstock. So just to kind of make it a little bit different, I thought I'd use some mint tape and mask off some of those areas and do a section at a time. But I really should have thought this through before I started because I've only got three colors and because um, each of the sections is in four, it meant that there was gonna be a couple of colors that would be next to each other. And you'll see towards the end that I didn't want that and so I kind of ended up using frostbite, which was great because it showed you what it would look like on white cardstock. Um, but obviously it didn't really look very good on the background. However, it doesn't mean that we still couldn't use this panel and I do go ahead and turn it into a card. So stick with the process here and just let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I definitely kind of wished I had a fourth colour and then that would have meant that I could have had each triangle um, in a different colour and not touching each other with the same colour, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm alternating the colours here, I'm putting the excess back in the pot before I'm then going ahead and getting another colour on my palette knife. And then, um, yeah, I kind of ended up giving up with the uh, masking tape in the end because I couldn't stick it where the paste was wet. So you'll see here I'm coming in with frostbite. It does pick up some of the other glitter from the other um, ashtray paste but that's fine it does just show you what it looks like on white cardstock and actually with frostbite it does dry clear so you get more of like a glittery texture so I've just put that aside to dry and I'm just going to come in now with our layered tulip trio and I'm using the tropical tango ashtray paste here and just making sure that I get a nice coverage and um, 
once I've done the bottom half, I am going to need to set that aside to dry before we can go ahead and add the tulip flowers to the tops of those stems. But where it's seeped out a little bit, while it's still wet, I'm just using a paintbrush just to remove some of that. And I found that that really kind of helped to tidy it up. So yeah, don't worry too much. If you get a little bit of seepage, while it's still wet, grab a little paintbrush and just kind of push it back into the design or carefully wipe it off. So now those panels are dry, this is what they look like. And you can see they dry so sparkly and a lot more of a richer, darker, deeper colour than they look in the pots. And I was so pleased with the results of these. The sparkle is picking up a little bit on camera, but in real life, it is just um, incredible. It's so intense, all the glitters tightly packed together. And so you get this really gorgeous textured finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this tulips one now. And all I decided to do was use my magnets just to hold my stencil back in place. And I'm just coming in with some Gina K Designs dye ink in Peach Bellini and then Red Hot. And I'm using the two colours just so that I can get a little bit of variation in the colour. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and wipe the excess ink off my stencil while leaving it in place because I'm then going to add the Frostbite stencil butter over the top. Now I'm being careful with this to make sure that I get a nice even coverage and then I'm just putting any excess back in the pot and then I'm going to pop that aside to dry. So we can now start turning these into cards. So I'm just trimming this panel down to three and three quarters by five inches. And then I've got this thank die from Julie Hickey Designs. I have recently bought a few more um, sentiment dies because I really felt that I had a gap in my stash. And they're great when you're using stencils. It's just nice to add a nice bold sentiment without kind of adding too much or taking anything away from the stencil background that you created. So word dies really do add... Um, just that final finishing touch without taking away from the design. So yeah, I've definitely um, bought a few recently. So you'll be seeing those in upcoming videos. I'm just adding some thin foam tape to the back of this panel just so that I can pop it up on the A2 card blank that I've created. And I've created my card blanks using the Creative Craft Products US size cardstock from Craft Stash, which I absolutely love. And then once I've stuck that down, we can go ahead and add our sentiment. I also added some foam tape to the back of that because this foam tape is very thin from scrapbook.com. And so it doesn't add a lot of bulk, but it just pops it up enough just so that you can really see that this sentiment stands out from the card. I'm just chopping off the thank from that strip back sentiment that I've got from Funky Fossil Designs so that it just says you say much and then that will work really nicely with that sentiment die that we've stuck on and I'm just going to go ahead and add some liquid glue to the back of that and pop it down nice and flat. So that's the first card finished. I do add a few gems and you'll see that in the photos at the end but let's move on to our second card. So where I use the changing triangle stencil and I added that frostbite, I really want to cover that up. And so I've got this lovely bold hello sentiment stamp from Paper Roses. And I'm just going to stamp that on this strip of black cardstock using some Wow Sticky embossing ink. I'm also going to add a sub sentiment that says just a little note to say. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover it in super fine white embossing powder. I'm then going to heat set it. Um, I'm just taking a paintbrush first of all and removing any stray particles and then I'm just going to go ahead and heat set that from underneath. When you heat from underneath it just just stop any particles blowing around and so that you don't get any embossing powdered where you don't want it but once it's grabbed you can go ahead and finish it off on the top. I'm just going to add some double sided tape to the back of this and then some liquid glue. Just because of the texture I really want this strip to dry and hold nice and flat against the card and I wasn't sure how the liquid glue how long it would take to dry over the top of the stencil butter so yeah just using the double sided tape just helps hold that in place in the meantime while the glue dries. Uh, completely not necessary you can just use liquid glue and weigh it down but yeah I just felt the tape would help me here. I'm then just going ahead and adding it to a matte layer of purple cardstock and then I'm going to go ahead and stick that down onto a shop bought 6x6 card blank and again I'm just adding some glue to the back of that and I really like how this turned out I think the diagonal sentiment strip was a really fun way of finishing off the card it meant that all that gorgeous paste that we'd added wasn't going to waste and it covered up that frostbite section nicely. So for the third card, I'm going to go ahead and just stick this down again. I'm using um, A2 measurements for this card. So I trimmed down the panel to three and three quarters by five. I've added a really thin matte layer of black cardstock and then I've attached it flat to a homemade A2 card blank. I've got this thank you sentiment from Spellbinders. These gorgeous word dies are from the recent Out and About collection, I believe it's called. 
And so I'm just adding a little bit of foam tape to those as well. And I think that bold sentiment just really finishes off the card nicely. I played around with the landscape layout there, but I decided I'd go ahead and keep it in the portrait format. I do like making landscape cards though. So yeah, it's something to bear in mind if you want to change up the shape and style of your cards. And then that's the third card finished for the moment. So I'm going to pop that aside and then we can bring in our layered tulip stenciled card. And I absolutely love how this one turns out. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments below which is your favourite because I'm really torn between this one and the mid-century atomic tears. But I love how they all turned out. I think this one just looks so fresh and crisp because of the bright colours on the white background. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. So I'm just trimming down a matte layer of red cardstock here. I've already trimmed down my front card front, as you've just seen. And again, this is going to be a top folding A2 card blank. I've got this funky flower stamp set from Gina K Designs, and I really just want to use the sentiment. So very thankful from it. I love the font, and I think it matches these tulips really nicely. So I'm just stamping that in some Versafine Claire Nocturne. Um, black ink. I'm then going ahead and just gluing that panel down to the matte layer that we've created and then we can go ahead and stick it onto our card blank and then just to finish this card off I did decide to just bring in a couple of red enamel dots that I had in my stash that I felt worked well with this and so I just add a couple of those just by the sentiment. So these are my finished cards for today. There'll be some close-up photos at the end and all the products that I've used will be in the description box below. Let me know in the comments below what you think to this new astro paste from simon hurley creates and which card was your favorite today out of the finished four that we've made as always all the products that i've used today will be linked in the description box below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video today and if you have any questions about any of the products that i've used don't forget to leave them in the comments below and i'll be sure to get back to you thank you so much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.